A coalition of medical and public health officials want the legislature to make sure safeguards are in place as Oklahoma's medical marijuana program gets underway. They outlined those safeguards this week before the medical marijuana work group. Another week, another hearing for the medical marijuana legislative work group. This time, medical and public health officials provided opinions on what was needed to properly regulate the medical marijuana industry while providing safe and effective treatments. Medical professionals support the responsible use of medical marijuana, but still have concerns about how the industry is being developed in Oklahoma. We did oppose 788 because of concerns with its unreasonable short timelines in implementation. These concerns continue to be valid. The medical community has a desire to be part of the conversation as medical marijuana policies are being implemented. Since this program directly impacts patient care, public health, and physician standards, Oklahoma's health community must have a seat at this table now and moving forward. House here says the medical community has three basic goals for marijuana implementation, guarding patient safety through the adoption of standards, ensure patient access to safe products, and ensure public safety with safeguards like consistent product labeling. She adds the current state of medical marijuana policy does not allow for a standard of care between the doctor and the patient. It's more of a transaction to get access to cannabis. We should update our statutes and rules to ensure that medical marijuana patients receive much more than a transactional relationship when they receive their Oklahoma medical marijuana card. Dr. Bob McCaffrey warns that while smoking medical marijuana is an effective way to absorb it into the system, it can be hazardous. But the fact is when it comes to marijuana, and in fact the same is true for nicotine, there are several uh, safer delivery methods for uh, the cannab uh, cannabinoids, including ingesting them, topical preparation, and aerosols. He says alternatives to smoking cannabis should be seriously considered. Secondhand smoke is also a factor in protecting the health of others who are not using medical marijuana. In fact, we know that THC from secondhand marijuana smoke can be absorbed by those around somebody smoking marijuana. The executive director of the Oklahoma Pharmacists Association believes medical marijuana should follow the same standards as any other prescription. It would help make sure the patients were getting quality cannabis in known dosage amounts. We believe that, farm, that patients in Oklahoma should know that wherever they go to get their drugs, especially scheduled drugs, that there's going to be a medical professional involved and that all of the same safety requirements are in place. The work group also heard from the field of psychiatry. Dr. Jason Beeman reviews studies of marijuana, THC, and other cannabinoids. Most of those studies are uh, population level studies that demonstrate the uh, harms and or benefits of marijuana. I will tell you that overwhelming majority of those studies are in the negative on the uh, population consequences of marijuana. Beeman notes that many of those studies did not examine THC levels and other data, which would give better information about how to move forward with medical marijuana. The potency of the cannabis being offered to patients also is of concern to Beeman. Currently, the average THC levels uh, that are sold are 20.6 percent for flowers and almost 70 percent for extracts. And I, I just can't tell you as an addiction medicine doctor how alarming the number 70 percent is. One of Beeman's recommendations to the legislature is to set concentration or dosage limits to protect the consumer. Another fear of the healthcare community is children ingesting medical cannabis, just like they get into prescription medication. Of particular concern is edibles. Edibles come in a lot of different formulations. You can have them appear as candies, uh, cookies, baked goods, um, a lot of different ways and they generally are flavorful, packaging is attractive to children, and therefore the kids get into them. Schaefer suggests packaging, which has the Oklahoma Center for Poison and Drug Information number on it for quick reference in case of accidental ingestion by a child. The work group was also advised by a public health expert that youth will fall prey to medical marijuana advertising and that lawmakers also should regulate how cannabis will be marketed.